Are you interested in building up your auction house with more expensive pets, but you don't really like weekly lockouts from raids? Then this video is exactly what you are looking for. Today we are covering expensive rare pets you can farm in the open world, with a group or completely solo with no previous preparation. These 13 pets are the ideal addition to your pet emporium. Numbers 1 through 5 are the 5 open world drop whelplings, so let's cover them one by one. The Azure whelpling drops from ghosts at Lake Keltheril in winter to spring at round 0.07% chance. Being one of the two rarest of these five whelplings, the Azure whelpling can easily go for 75 to 80,000 gold. The bronze whelpling drops from iron horde mobs in the wild version of Blasted Lands. The drop rates hover around 0.5%, so a decent amount more than the Azure one, and that's why this whelpling goes for 45 to 55,000 gold. The Crimson Whelpling and the Dark Whelpling drop from mobs in the wetlands, but this area is from my experience the best performing spot thanks to the instant respawns. If you have a Brewmaster Monk available with an Ox statue, this farm is pretty much AFK. The Orcs and Dragonkin drop only the Crimson Whelpling, the Ebon Whelps around drop both of the pets. Drop rates are lower than the Bronze Whelpling around 0.1% and the price is roughly 65 to 75,000 gold for both of these. The Emerald Whelpling drops from only one mob, the Noxious Whelp in Feralus at a 0.09% drop rate. The price of an Emerald Whelpling is anywhere between 75 to 100,000 gold. The Hyacinth Macaw Parrot Pet is a fairly popular rare drop among gold farmers. It drops from nearly all mobs in Northern Stranglethorn, so we just need to find a spot with good density and hyper respawning mobs. I would recommend farming trolls at this spot, I have done it personally and it feels alright. Parrot has a very low drop rate around 0.01 to 0.04% and goes for well over 100,000 gold. Next pet on the list is the Razashi Hatchling, which also drops in Stranglethorn. Actually, the same mobs you are killing for the Hyacinth Macaw also drop the Hatchling. So if the spot works, just use the same one. The drop rate for the hatchling is a little higher at about 0.05 to 0.08%, but these numbers are really only orientational. The price is around 50 to 70,000 gold. Also, a quick tip. All trolls in Stranglethorn drop a rare herb called Wild Wine that sells for a few thousand gold, so if you are farming for the pets, you might as well keep these and sell them. Number 8 is the Sprite Darter Hatchling, which drops in Feralus. A lot of different mobs drop it, including the Noxious Whelps that drop the Emerald Whelpling, but in case you wanted to try a different spot, I would recommend this one. The drop rate is very low, at about 0.01%, but if you are farming the Whelps, you now have two great drops you are looking for. Killing a Sprite Darter Hatchling will net you around 70 to 80,000 gold. Next rare and expensive pet is the Disgusting Oozling. This pet has a 1.4% chance to drop from the oozing bag, which is an amazing drop rate for a pet that goes for over 100,000 gold. However, you need to first drop the bag itself. I recommend killing Shifting Mire Globs in Swamp of Sorrows for an 8% chance to get a bag and then open it and hope you get the pet. Black Tabby Cat drops in Hillsbred Foothills. If you are playing Horde, you can kill Alliance-friendly mobs at these areas. If you are playing Alliance, the best mobs for you are the Syndicate Spies, but there are a bunch more mobs in Hillsbred that have a chance of dropping the Black Tabby Cat, so feel free to find your own. The drop rate is around 0.04% and the price is currently at 45 to 55,000 gold. From now on I have pets that are much harder to drop and I would only recommend farming them if you want them for your own collection or if you like selling pets and you want more variety. Number 11 is the Fox Kit Pet, which only drops from the Baradin Fox in Tolberad at a 0.1% chance and sells for 65,000 gold. Definitely one of the more niche pets to try farming. I have no tips on speeding this grind up. The drop rate is a little higher than usual. The mob density is very low. Best thing you can do is remember where the mobs spawn and find the route you are comfortable with. Captured Firefly pet drops from only one mob as well, and that is the Bog Flare Needler in Sangar Marsh. Not only is the drop rate 0.08%, but the mobs are also very spread out and have a low density, so even with a price point of 150 to 300,000 gold, this pet will require either a lot of luck or a lot of patience to get. 
Number 13 and the last pet on today's list is the Gundrak Hatchling, which drops from Gundrak Raptors at a 0.09% chance in Zul'Drak. Same thing applies here. Farm only if you want it for your own collection, or you really want more variety on your auction house. Managing to sell one of these will make you around 90 to 150,000 gold. These were 13 rare and expensive pets that drop in the open world, so you can farm them anytime. I hope this video gave you some useful gold making information, you have success in selling these since it will take some time. If you have any suggestions or things you would like to see in future videos, feel free to leave them in the comments and good luck with your gold making. Thank you for watching my video.